Hello everyone and welcome to my guide for level 2 of Doom Eternal where I'll show you guys where all the secrets and upgrades are. Right when you spawn in, you'll go to this ledge, drop down, and there's a 1-up right there to get you started. After progressing through the level just a very little bit, you'll swing across this bar, you'll punch through this green wall. Instead of heading to your right to progress the level, head to your left and grab this codex. In the first battle arena, head to the back right corner where there's this breakable wall. Punch through the wall and you'll find yourself a chess piece. Right now we're in the elevator where we just picked up the blood punch. And if you turn around after going through the elevator, you'll see that there is a 1-up behind that cage. In order to get the 1-up, you need to progress until you get to the rune tablet here. After you pick a rune, you'll be able to turn around and grab this bar and swing up and your 1-up is on your left. After grabbing that 1-up, head further into the level. After leaving the area with the rune tablet, head straight to this breakable wall instead of dropping down. After breaking through the wall, you'll be able to grab the toy, the Arachnotron. Also, I didn't show it after you grabbed the rune, but the rune counts as an item to be found on the map shown here. Alright, after you drop down from collecting the Arachnotron toy, you're in this battle arena and you can see that supercharge up in the air. Just grab onto these poles and you'll be able to gymnast your way over there. And what the supercharge does is it gives you full health and full armor. After progressing the level quite a bit, you'll go through this jumping section. As soon as you climb up through this wall, turn around and you'll be able to see a codex entry behind you. Once you get to the part of the level where you have to punch the chains to progress, up on the platform with the chains you'll be able to find your next codex. Immediately after unlocking the dash ability, jump to this platform, turn around, you'll see a 1-up on the wall. Later, you will have a cutscene in this throne room. As soon as the cutscene is over, turn around and head behind the throne, and you'll find yourself another one up. When you're headed out of the throne room, take a right hand turn, and you'll find another codex. Once you are in this battle arena for the second time, you will get another weapon upgrade point, and at this point you already have the dash unlocked, so instead of progressing the level by going forward here, take a right hand turn, and up in that building up there, there is a secret encounter. This jump section can be kind of tricky. After you hit this first pull, wait a little bit before hitting your jump, you'll be able to grab that last pull, come up to this gore nest and interact with it, and then you will start the secret encounter. To complete the secret encounter, you need to kill these two Kaka demons in 25 seconds. What I did was I let them get close to me first, and then I did my grenade launcher shot for my shotgun, and then did the glory kill once they were close. Once you activate the portal and go through it, you'll unlock your plasma rifle, and in this room there is a secret. It's right underneath this bridge here. In order to get it, just go further on until you get to the punchable block. You'll need to punch the side with the knuckle marks on it. Then simply head to the end of the tunnel and grab the secret album at Doom's Gate. Once you leave that secret area, you'll head over to this mouth, head into the mouth, and there are quite a few things in this tunnel that we'll be collecting. First is the auto map. Then as you go through the tunnel a bit more, you'll get to the scaling section and you'll find yourself a mod bot.
Immediately after being done with the mod bot, turn around and there's a one up that you can jump and grab. You can probably make it back, but I messed up my jump. After using the power core to break through the wall, you'll go through this jumping section and there's another codex on the left. Once you get to this section where you stand on the green platforms to open the door, when you drop down in the hole after activating the plate before climbing back up, you can jump down to this breakable wall and you'll find yourself another supercharge. Once you've grabbed your next power core, you're supposed to go on this spear and activate the power core at the end of the spear. But if you're at the hand on the spear and you drop in on this right hand side, you'll find the next secret encounter. For this one, you only have 10 seconds to kill these skulls. I just spam shotgun shots and grenade shots and was able to finish it first try. After you do your third power core and you have to jump across that gap, head over here and to the left and you'll find this sentinel crystal. Right after that room with the sentinel crystal, you'll get this cutscene that shows this platform falling and there's quite a few secrets in this area. Directly in front of us, you can see a codex that we can go collect. After collecting this codex, head to the right. There's a tunnel right here that you can swing on this pole, and you'll find yourself another supercharge behind this breakable wall. Now from where that codex was, we can jump to this platform, and then if you head off to the right on the second platform, there is this secret right here. You can interact with this switch, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything, but there's a secret there. Further into the mission, you'll find this purple door that's called a Slayer Gate. There is a Slayer Key near a Slayer Gate. In order to find the key for this Slayer Gate, we'll just progress the mission. There is a low path and a high path. Take the high path, and then jump across using this dash reset, and then the key is down beneath you on your left here. After grabbing the key, you can head straight down to the Slayer door and open it. After completing the Slayer gate, head further into the level. You'll see that there's a one-up with some electricity around it here. You can drop directly down straight onto this climbable wall Lower yourself down to line up with the one up. Time your jump just right, jump through and get yourself that one up. After landing on this ledge, you can look over here and there's all this lava falling off this cliff. Jump around the lava and grab onto the edge of the cliff. And then you'll find yourself your next doom toy. And this one is the Kako Demon. We're now towards the end of the level and we just had that cutscene. Head up these stairs and towards your objective marker you'll find the last codex. Once you get to this platforming section, there is a one up over here under this platform. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go on through the rest of the level and wait for the platform to drop to grab it, but I simply jumped up, grabbed it, and dashed backwards back onto the ledge. And that'll do it for level two. Stay tuned to the channel if you want to see my guide for level three.